We are joined by Mike Morgan right now and Jolene. Mike was forewarning everybody about this even before uh, things started blowing up. Well, I, the the case to draw is look at 5 p.m. yesterday and then look at 6 p.m. yesterday. Exactly. One hour's worth of time. And if you're affected, you know exactly what happened in that 60 minute period. And our trackers, of course, are out. Uh, the chopper in the sky. Mason Dunn was tracking that. So we're going to uh, show you what Mason saw yesterday and today tracking those devastating tornadoes, eight of them so far. And here is his report. Yeah, the rain has moved through. I can actually see blue sky here in Shawnee. So it has already moved through. But here's another neighborhood just to the northeast of the airport uh, and OBU that sustained quite a bit of damage. Very widespread damage. This, this circulation must have been a, at least a quarter to a half a mile wide. I see damage here and then I'll look a half a mile and there's damage over there. Uh, all, all damage, trees are laying to the west, trees are laying to the east, I see power poles laying to the south. It's, it's just all over. We, I don't even know what this building is. It, you know those vans out front kind of make me think that it might be a daycare or something. Uh, we're going to try to get a little closer, but um, just crazy. The damage damage is just crazy uh, here. So this is this this building took uh, significant damage. It was a brick building. It looks like a maybe a a nursing home uh, next door. You can see people walking around in the debris uh, out here. So I don't know what this I I don't know what this was. Uh, to tell you the truth, it's pancaked. The guy's walking on the roof, and it's it's on the ground. So, um, just devastating. Uh, Shawnee took a, a pretty bad hit uh, last night.